Adi O or Adi No? Hopefully we got Adi O and not Adi No. Uh, beach hunt today. Looking pretty good. If you're looking for shells, that's about it, really. It is high tide right now. And I just want to check the audio out on this DJI Action 2 audio right here. Right on this uh, high noisy level. Uh, hey, welcome to the channel. My name is James and we mostly put out metal detecting videos and a little bit of nonsense once in a while. And uh, I hunt with a variety of machines. And if you like the channel, consider subscribing for more future content. And I'm talking to you, the viewer. A uh, couple things about YouTube. It's FTW. Free to watch. So why, why not subscribe to another metal detecting channel? Here's your advertising right there. Talk to you later and goodbye. Okay, well we're on the DJI Action 2. Got a target here. And let's see if it's anything good at all. I'm wearing my Tesla mount, neck mount. So, you know, just try to keep things convenient, easy. We got one trying to whoop in here a little bit. Just trying to pull a Britney Spears. Whoops, I did it again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Looks like it goes from the 85 to 90s. A little bit deeper. Not too squiggly on the squiggly line. Let's put our discrimination on. It's just a two-tone program. With a little bit of variety. Oh, we're out. Like I always say, Dime, dime, we dig them all the time. The Dime Master is back. Hit me, baby, one more dime. All right, we got something good coming in here. Well, supposed to be good. Could be lying, like most of the time. Seventies. Kind of bounces a little bit. This is a little DSA today. Off to the side a little bit. I might just be pushing it around. It's going to be a dime again. What do we got today here? Oh, yeah, it's our, uh, n no, 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 don't lie to me now. It's a copper penny. Copper penny, we'll take it. Kind of have to. Dug it up. I'm officially the new owner now. All right, well, move on from there. On to the next one. I'm looking at the, the tide line right now. And the juiciness level has kind of intrigued me because this whole thing, you can just tell where it's, where it's puddling big time. So that tells me there's a big trough right there. Um, now, I have waders. I have waterproof pants, waders, all that stuff. I can get out there. The question is... How much time do I have... If I do get a target in there, how much time do I have to recover? Is it like five seconds, ten seconds of repetitive waves coming in? Because usually everything is, every, all the juicy stuff is in this trough right here. But just getting to it, that's another story. It is a hobby, you want to keep it fun, but you don't want to get hurt also. The waves have been kind of unpredictable right now. You got that undertow, the rip currents coming in. You got them come, coming and sign a squiggly sideways. Okay, this is in the high 90s. 
it's seen, it's round. Just put our disc discrimination on. Yeah, it's dragging it everywhere. I don't know. Variates. Could just be a deep coin. I see some fishing string. Maybe it's a fishing weight. No. Okay, it is a quarter. It was actually right this time. I saw this uh, fishing string in there and I thought maybe it might have been a lead fishing weight. But yeah, there you go. Nice green one. The greener. The greener they are, the more valuable they are. I mean, I could probably get like 50 cents for that at least. I mean, I'm willing to take a dollar, but you know, with the labor included. All right, on to the next one. All right, we got one coming in here. We got a blue, 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 blue. 64 or 65. Well, I'll take that. Clean penny. Lenny hasn't been as generous today as he usually is, so, you know, we'll, we'll take this one because it's in great condition. Kind of have to. What else? Put some discrimination on it. Let's go into the upper bank upper limit so that's my limit when it comes to the upper limit got a solid 27 28 coming in let's check it out here it's a one scoop deal maybe a full stamp probably oh yeah It's like a mutilated fool's towel. Like somebody just got angry and just decided to chew on it a little bit and throw it on the ground. I don't blame them. I would have done the same thing. Um, all right. Well, I'll get you on the next target here. Just an easy going beach hunt today. Get a little exercise. Get a little walking time in. Really all it's about for me today. Not, I just keep my expectations down really, really low. Actually, that's a pretty cool surface find right here. Check this out. I'll take like the bits and pieces of the shells and I'll, I'll glue them on stuff, you know. Pretty interesting. You can make some cool artwork out of the beach finds beach pirate hunter the guy from florida he had some pretty cool little diy projects also yeah i'll take like pieces of these shells and I'll, my wife and i we like to do little projects like that you can paint them up put detail on them cool stuff huh check this out Right on the towel line. See that right there? <laughs> Might be able to return this one. JJ Mobile has done it again. This one we could actually probably return it though. Uh oh, it's completely dead. Huh. This might be an iPhone SE, the newer one. Anything in the, well, no, nothing in the back because it's see through. That's just a habit.
It might be a SE second generation. I don't know. It's, it's got the fingerprint scanner though. Well, I'll throw it on the charger and see if we get any any signal. Oh, it, okay. Hold on the power button. It turned on. Let's see. I wonder if someone just dropped it right now. Uh, press home to open. Okay, the camera works. Well, there's no password on it. Well, that's pretty stupid. But actually, that works out to me because uh, I can find the owner, hopefully. All right. Well, get you on the next one. Hopefully they call on another phone or try to locate it. Yeah, I just bought a tr treasure map and it told me the treasure is like right here. Bought a treasure map and uh, it's supposed to tell you where all the gold is buried on the beach. And let me just double check and make sure we're in the right area, but it said it was right over here somewhere. Yeah, let me just double check here. Um, it says, let's see it's going to map, treasure map. I got a special treasure map on here. Hey Google, take me to treasure. Oh, okay. So all you got to do is just follow this map right here. It's going to take you to the treasure. Okay, so yeah, we got to go this way here. Go between these rocks right there. Okay. Go the other route. Um, yeah, this is not quite working out here. Wait a minute. I'm all turned around. So, something's not right here. Hold on. Yeah. Something's not right. We're, um... Yep. Fold again. Alright, we got one coming in here. It's been a while. I mean, it sounds decent. It has a little bit of iron ground. Let me see if I can turn my discrimination on. When I raise my coil up, it doesn't variate really that much. But with this, with these multi IQs, man, I don't know. They can be very jumpy if they're deeper target. CTX would smack that. That was a quarter. CTX would just hit it right away. That didn't give me that iron tone in there. Uh, you know, it depends if it's on edge though also too. But yeah, there we go. We got a nice, nice juicy quarter right there. Sounds like some clothes are going to get washed to me. Uh, other than that, just a nice, nice day on the beach. Not, I don't really expect to find too much. When I come out, I tell you, I will tell you though that when when you start digging up a lot of bobby pins, Ricky Bobby pins on the beach, you know you might have a good day because all the ladies they love to wear their jewelry. Um, ooh, you start digging those AirPods. I've dug. Took a lot, quite a few AirPods this summer, all in the dry sand, you know. So that's the benefit of hunting in the dry sand. There's a tent stake. All right, we got another one coming in here right by these. It's kind of like where these shell lines, light, fluffy stuff. Has so 69 to 72. 
And I'm hunting in a two tone, I don't need to hunt in a five tone. Because I'm hunting in a regional, like a variable, so I can s kind of spike those tones a little bit. It's probably just going to be a penny. No? I thought that would have been a copper penny. Okay, that's just a dime dime. We dig them all the time. My favorite. I mean, what kind of dime master would I be if I didn't dig dimes, you know? <laughs> Got a little bit of a slope here, but you can just see it's leaving a lot of the light, light shells down below. So it tells me all the juicy stuff is going to be down there, but I'm glad I don't see a lot of seaweed. That's a good thing. That's a good sign. Um, other than that, yeah, these are these are great to collect. These shells, by the way, they're great for little projects here and there. All right, we'll get you on the next one. All right, here's one coming in. It's kind of whooping and whooping and whooping all over the place here. Um, that's where my discrimination on. It's coming in the 90s. It mostly stays on the on Ferris line. I don't know. Could be a deep tent stake. Like hitting that corner, that 90 degree edge. Just never know. It's not so it's starting to sound worse the deeper I get. The numbers are degrading a little bit. That's all right, though. Yeah, we're right on it, so just deep, I guess. And now it's all squiggly. So it could be a deep tent stake. What's going on with the pinpointer? See if we can just dig it up by hand. Yeah, we're right in. That's just deep. That's what it is. Oh, got it. Well, there it is. Non fair tar target, but. Spear off, why don't you just smear it off? Yeah, there you go. Cool color though, but that was deep. On to the next one. Yeah, check this out for all these uh, light shells are landing right here. I'll grab these for the wife. Let's see if I can kind of position that. I'll grab these for the wife and then we'll just do like little projects at home with them. And I have a T-Rex scoop where I can just scoop all these out and filter, filter most of the sand out. But yeah, they're clustered like that. So it's, all the lights are washing up right now, which is cool. Lights are washing up and the heavies are staying on the bottom. Um, as long as we get hard packed sand, we should do good 
for December. Should get a lot of gold, hopefully. Maybe some deep silver chains. I don't know, but I'll just... I'll just grab these for the wife. And I'll throw them in the jar. It looks pretty cool, the texture on them. That's my story. I mean, I got to come home. I can't come home empty-handed. I got to bring you something. Yeah. I got a nice one coming in here. 90. Doesn't sound like it's very deep at all. Three bars down. So probably about five, six inches. 90. Only going to have a quarter here. Now take it. Look at that thing jumping in there. Just wants, wants to go desperately into a laundry machine. There, there we go though. Hopefully it's not too much sun. I don't have a filter on right now. But yeah, there you go. You know, I'm only hunting in 1080, not hunting in pro, pro mode, 1080, 30 frames. 30 frames is good enough for the beach. Um, I don't know, 60 frames. Just a bigger file, but 24, 30 frames. Uh, it seems like you get better image quality. Expect, you know, I'm not moving very fast, so I'm not going to get that motion blur. But if I'm moving fast, then yeah, I'll, I'll put, I want to put in 60 if I want to slow some things down, but some shots or clips but other than that 30 frames is usually the best and I'm in uh, just regular mode today not pro mode at all kind of see what the camera wants to put out that's all go from there that's trash all right, on to the next one. Okay, we could possibly have a quarter coming in. 89.90. One scoop deal. Let's see if we got it here. Yeah, there we go. Nice quarter. I will take it like there's no tomorrow. Boom. Yeah, that's it. Just kind of hunting where where this uh, town line got slammed, got compressed down. <clears throat> there's a cool shell right there. Take it. Give that to the wife. Yeah, just small shells. Nothing really large out today. So, you know, I'm actually surprised there's not more aluminum out. Aluminum, no, 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 no. It's shocking. It's all just light shells. Now this looks kind of interesting here. Where they all kind of just gathered on this towel line. Let's check this a little bit. Yeah, no fishing weights today, so this is a lot of fluff. I should actually just stick to the towel line. Probably what I'm gonna do. 